In this video, you're going to learn some techniques and strategies for remote auditing. We've got a group of partners, consultants, people who train auditors, and they're going to give us some techniques, insights on how to get effective remote auditing performed. Hi, Peter from Mango, and welcome to Compliance Conversations. Was it as hard as you thought it was to do remote auditing? No, look, and QSM has been doing remote auditing with Mango clients for probably about the last two or three years. So we're actually used to doing uh, remote audits. Um, so from that perspective, um, it wasn't that challenge, challenging. However, uh, when it involved uh, more detailed, uh, if you like, what would normally be done as observations at, at sites and so forth, you had to organise for uh, people to be available for interviews at certain times. And as we know with auditing, uh, flexibility with auditing is pretty important because sometimes people, despite setting them up to actually be available at a certain time, there may be uh, things that prevent that from happening. So that can at times be a little bit frustrating and challenging because people you've teed up to be available for an interview at say 10 a.m. in the morning, they may have something urgent that occurs during uh, that morning and can't be available. So um, from that perspective, it's challenging. But as I said, we've done the uh, remote audits in one way or another uh, for about the last two or three years, only with Mango clients. So. In total, FQM's done about, I think since the beginning of March, I think we've done about 62 remote audits um, between myself and four others. So yeah, fairly, fairly straightforward, fairly, Fairly simple. The, the downside, of course, is that you don't get the look and feel when you're maybe auditing a, a high risk activity, um, but that's understood. Um, so, for example, tomorrow I'm going to a site to do some auditing on high risk activities, but I'm only going there for three hours. Um, I've already done, it, done a full day of auditing their systems and their evidence around all the other parts of their management system. Many of our clients have seen it as a win-win as well, simply because when we went to site, they basically had to give up one or two days of their normal work activity so that they could uh, babysit us and shadow us and provide us with what we needed. Whereas now we send them an agenda, a list of what we expect to see. Often what happens is we get information in advance from them. Um, and then we have set scheduled times, an hour with someone in operations, an hour with someone in HR, an hour with maybe someone in leadership, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the person that's used to overseeing that activity a year ago um, has gained this extra time that they normally would lose. Most, uh, look, I found it easy. To be honest, I think a lot of the clients I've worked with, perhaps say compared to five years ago, they're very they're more familiar with the web conferencing kind of software that you need to use or other communication options. Uh, I think also the fact where I'm based in Victoria, we've gone into a lockdown means companies have had to get familiar with that kind of technology as well. Uh, yep, I've pretty much uh, conducted quite a number of audits remotely moment, but most of them have been conducted effectively. We've achieved the objective of the audit without too much uh, issues. I, I'd done a little bit before, actually. Uh, I have a, a couple of clients that are a, a bit remote, so I have done some remote auditing a little bit more since COVID came along, obviously. So it's it's always got its challenges, um, but I, I don't think they're insurmountable. It's definitely something that I've found that can be done, for sure. We, we never actually thought it was going to be difficult and we've been using remote um, video conferencing technology for a number of months um, anyway. That, work, that works really well. On those clients who are already using Mango, um, when we're finding information in the system, that's been extremely straightforward. The, the, the more challenging audits to do on a remote basis have been those where we've needed people to walk around and um and show us evidence perhaps on on a on a site um lo looking at various bits and pieces and the difficulty hasn't so much been in seeing stuff it's it's more about 
have the clients got the right technology in the first place? So, for instance, um, some some of our clients didn't have um, cameras on on their devices, and it's either meant them upgrading their equipment, um, or or it's meant us adapting the way we we um, ask questions. But it, it hasn't it hasn't been that difficult at all. So do remote auditing with the way that our the bulk of our clients have. Uh, run their system uh, it's actually been harder because you'll say I need this document and this document and this document and this document and it'll take a significant amount of time for them to get back to it so a one day audit's taken two or three or four days by the time they get back to you with the information no not at all we've we found that people have transitioned to utilizing technology quite easily um, we've been using a variety of different tools. Obviously, Mango, we record uh, the audit evidence into. Uh, we've been using either Microsoft Teams or Zoom to be able to chat to people, etc. So I don't think remote audits or the transition to remote audits um, in terms of the technology or the people adapting to it, I don't think that's been difficult at all. Uh, one of the actually key challenges in terms of um, the technology that they've got at their end and yeah. uh, particularly if you're re if you're doing remote auditing in remote locations, sometimes the internet connectivity can be a little bit hit and miss. So it's particularly at certain times of day. So you'd have to then plan to make sure you're doing uh, certain work when you know the uh, connectivity is going to be at its best. No, it was really easy. It was really straightforward. Um... I mean, to start to finish, I think we're about four hours on on video conference, uh, walking around the place, and there was there was nothing that we couldn't do. There was there was you know, so we walked through the entire manufacturing process. Um, in fact, we walked from goods inwards all the way through to dispatch, um, using the the iPad um, and answering questions as we went, and there was no issues at all. It was super simple. What about the management system side of things? Was that uh, how how was that conducted? Was that similar, or was that conducted before the audit? Or no, it was it was conducted similar. So we we started um, in an office just on on video conference like this um, and walking through the management system. So we had given the auditor remote access to the management system in advance um, because we're using Mango. Uh, so he had a, a cloud access to that and had gone through. Uh, the system in advance, but was also asking us questions of that as we went through. So we were able to use that and share the screen um, and show them through Mango real time what was happening. Um, he could also verify that in, in the access that he had to make sure that we weren't kind of showing them something that wasn't there, which was really good. So we were able to kind of say, you know, click here, click there. And he, he actually went through the system himself to find the evidence, um, which was really, really helpful. To all the partners who contributed today, thank you, and hopefully the audience is going to learn some new techniques, your your observations, and maybe they can get some value from it and maybe change the way they're doing it. So thank you.